To share these cool new updates in Data Cloud, let me invite Daniel, developer advocate, on the stage. Take it away, Daniel. Thank you, Aditya. Hello, everyone. My name is Danielle Laregi, and I'm a senior developer advocate at Salesforce. Data Cloud is quickly becoming one of my favorite products to advocate for because of its rapid innovation and relevancy to the AI revolution. I'm excited to announce we have some brand new features coming out as of the winter 24 release that will be generally available. But before I get into what those features are, let me answer a question for you that I've been getting a lot at Dreamforce this week. What is Data Cloud, and what can Data Cloud do? Data Cloud allows you to ingest your data at scale from multiple source systems using our out-of-the-box connectors. You can ingest data from Marketing Cloud, Salesforce, and even Commerce Cloud. MuleSoft developers, you can ingest data using our bulk and streaming APIs. You can even use the ingestion API to create your own connector. After you've ingested your data, you then have the ability to harmonize all of that data in a canonical data model into our data lake, into data lake objects and data model objects. From there, you can use identity resolution to build a single source of truth. And then you can use activations like Tableau Analytics, integrate with Salesforce platform events, and even call marketing cloud journeys via the Journey Builder API. I'm excited to announce our new features as of the Winter 24 release. Our first feature is the ability to use data cloud triggered flows, which allows you to launch flows off of data model objects. Isn't that cool? Before, you had to use data actions and platform events. We also have another awesome feature, which is the ability to bring your own AI model using Amazon SageMaker Studio and Einstein Studio. OK, let's bring the demo. Here we are in Salesforce. And you can see here that we have a new flow type called Data Cloud Triggered Flow, which once again allows you to launch flows off of data model objects. Let's go ahead and pull up an existing flow. So here we are in Flow, and we're going to go ahead and click Edit to view the configuration of this flow. So we have a fictitious company called Solar Circles that sells solar panels, and they want to know when their solar panels aren't receiving any energy. So they've created this solar panel event data model object. And similarly to other flows, you have the ability to launch this flow whenever a record is created or updated. We've also set an additional entry criteria which is whenever the solar panel is receiving zero energy. Also new as of the Winter 24 release is the ability to do a transform between objects. Let's go ahead and pull up our transform in our flow. So on the left, we have our solar panel event data model object. And on the right, we have our Salesforce case object. You can easily map data between the two objects just by clicking the nodes. And this will map data over from our data model object and data cloud to our Salesforce case object. Cool, right? Yeah. Now we need to test this out. And we're going to go ahead and use Postman, of course. Let's go ahead and pull up Postman. Now, if you didn't already know, we have a collection of multiple APIs in our public API collection. You can use Marketing Cloud APIs, Salesforce APIs, and we even have MuleSoft APIs in the collection. We're going to use one of our Data Cloud APIs. Let's go ahead and pull up our Ingestion API. OK, we're going to use this Ingestion API to trigger a solar panel event where we're not receiving any energy to our solar panel. Let's go ahead and fire off. Now, what happened in the background was we inserted a record into our data model object, which triggered our flow. Then our transform happened. And finally, a case record got created. So, we fired this flow a little bit before the show. Let's go ahead and pull up the case record that got created as a result. And here we are, our case record, created from our solar panel, not receiving any energy. All right, that's not all. Remember, we have another thing that we're launching in the Winter 24 release, the ability to build your own AI model using Amazon SageMaker Studio. Anybody work with data? Anyone in the room work with data? Awesome. 
All right, here we are in SageMaker Studio, which is a tool that data scientists use to build their artificial intelligence, machine learning, and large language learning models. We're gonna go ahead and click Create Project, and we have a new project template called Model Deployment for Salesforce that we can use to train our data in SageMaker Studio. Now with this project, we get a sample Python notebook, we get already an API gateway and endpoint, and we also get some sample code. All right, now we need to create a connection and import data into our model so that we can train our model. So let's go ahead and click Create a Connection. And you can see here we have a new connection type in SageMaker Studio to be able to pull in data from Salesforce Data Cloud. Now, we already previously created a connection, so we're gonna to go to our previously created connection. And you can see here are all of our data model objects and data lake objects that are currently in our data cloud org. Let's go ahead and perform a query to test that this connection is working. So we went ahead and put in our query, and now we're gonna go ahead and click run. And here's the results that came back from our data model object. So we can see that our data cloud org is connected to SageMaker Studio. Okay, now that we've trained our model, we need to consume our endpoint. Let's go to, stage, let's go to Einstein Studio and Data Cloud to consume our endpoint. So here we are in Einstein Studio. And this is new as of the summer 23 release. Let's go ahead and click into our product recommendation model. Here we have a little bit of details about our product recommendation model. On our endpoint tab, we have our API gateway and endpoint. And then on the variables tab, we have all of the variables that we can use to make predictions with our model. On our outputs tab is where all of the predictions from our model are outputted to. Okay, now, this is not all. We also have the ability to do a one-off prediction using flow. Let's go back to flow. So here we are back in our flow, and we're gonna enter in our product recommendation model. And here, we just have to configure these variables, and we can use these variables as inputs, once again, to make recommendations and predictions with our model. Cool, right? We can make predictions in flow. But that's not all. We're developers, so let's go ahead and pull up our Apex class. So here we are in our product recommendation, Apex class. And once again, we can use our model in an invocable action. We're gonna set a few parameters to use as inputs to make predictions with our models, and our Apex class is gonna output our predictions and our recommendations. Who's ready to build some AI models? Yeah. And that's not all. We have a lot of new functionality that we're working on on our roadmap. Let's go back to our roadmap slide. So we also are working on the ability to bring your own model with Google Vertex, and we are working on a no-code, low-code model builder as well. And that is how you integrate a Amazon SageMaker Studio and Einstein Studio with Data Cloud. Thank you so much. Back to you, Aditya.